everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are going to do an unboxing of the Fairy Loot August 2020 box. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Alright, so we have the performa invoice right here. We're just going to remove this documentation so I can get to the part of the box where I'm supposed to open it. So just bear with me a little on this one. This lid is totally covered by But first and foremost, I am so sorry for any background noise that you may hear all throughout this video because I have no control on the sounds that my neighbor's pets create. Alright, so let's head on to the box. Opening it up. Okay, so here we go. So the first item that we see is of course the monthly spoiler card so for the month of august we have the team under the sea so here we have the list of all the items that are going to be included in this box and let's just check it out one by one so let's start off with this one so this is the kill kingdom mug all right so it is designed by gabriel ramusi and it displays two main characters from Kill the Kingdom by Alexandra Christie. Oh Alright, so these kinds of mugs are the ones that I really dig. I have one from Fader Loot, which is the Mortal Instrument um, mug. And this is really gorgeous. Not sure if you guys can see it clearly, but I hope you do. So, here is the design. So, these are the two main characters from Tequila Kingdom. And of course, inside we have a little coat, which I hope you can read. It says, it's like holding a story rather than a person. She feels wild and intimate in my arms. Oh, isn't it cute? Isn't it lovely? Yeah, these are, I really like these kind of mugs and they're also the kind of mug that I don't want to use because they're so pretty and I really don't want to scratch the design and ruin it when, when I wash them. Alright, so moving on to the next item in the box which we have is this. So... Let's check. It feels like straws. Oh, it's so nice. So we have metal straws. So we have a nice blue gradient metal straws right there. <laughs> the, the, the slimmer one says, um, make waves. Right there. And the other, and the thicker one says, beach please. Which is so amazing. This is, I like this one. Pun intended. Really. Oh, and here we have Mr. Phil the Cat. Who would like to join the unboxing? Alright, so let's see. So the spoiler card doesn't say anything about who created or the supplier for the metal straws. But these are amazing and I like them. And they came with they came with the brushes for cleaning and, of course, the pouch for keeping. So yeah, you may also find a little paw right there. 
so that is my cat. And he likes playing around with boxes and stuff like this. Alright, so the next one is hair detailing brush. Oh my gosh, I like this one. Retail, we got hair detailing brush. Alright, so let's just take out all these. Oh, nice. So here we have the hair detangling brush right there. So the design for this one is made by Tara Jaw. And it is of course very lightweight. Yeah. So let's just try it very quickly. I like the feel of it in your in the skull. Yeah. Very nice. And, and of course the brushes are pretty soft though I may, I may say that that brush of course is softer but if you want something that is like quite soft but still has that scratch it's this kind of brushes all right so this is something that I can definitely use immediately and I'm loving it, digging it. So the next one we have is right, it's in a brown envelope. Alright, so it's Poor Unfortunate Souls Kitchen. Oh my gosh. If you're like me and you like, you know, you're in love with the villains and I am in love with Disney villains. It's like they have a very good untold stories on why they become like so. And this is from, of course, Ursula and Octave. Okay, so this one is designed by Love You More Studio and of course it's Inspired by our favorite sea witch, Ursula. Yes, loving it. I'll probably use it with something because I really like it. Hey, Phil, do you like this? No, 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 no scratching my knee to chin. All right, so here. Getting back to its face so the cat doesn't scratch it. Next item we have is Atlantis postcard. So this is a print that is illustrated by Tara Jaw. And what do you know? It's Atlantis and it's really pretty. Let's see, if ever you'd be like going to Atlantis, you'd probably get one of these. Good luck finding it. Good luck finding it though. So yeah. And the next one we have here is... Oh my god, is this a pencil case? Yeah, so it says here it's a pencil case. Oops. Phil, don't grab my things. All right, so this is a pencil case, which is inspired by Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. All right, it's quite big, as you can see. Here's my palm. Here's my palm. It's really big for a pencil case, but I love it. I think I'm going to use it as, an, as a notebook case, right? It can be. Yeah, and it's quite thick for me. It doesn't have any... I think it does. No, it doesn't. Alright. It doesn't have any padding inside. You know, like between the two layers, the lining and the cover. But definitely, it can do. So loving it. So it says here that don't grant all the princess requests. Darling girl, men are always asking for more than they should. Which really, they are. So, I love the color combination. Of course, it's so very under the sea. We have the blues, the greens, 
the purples always always very good all right so the next one we have is of course, the monkey tarot cards we have right now is Seven of Swords and Eight of Swords. And this is inspired by, of course, um, Never Night by J. Christoph. And it is by the talented Catherine Britt. So, here we have... Looking great. All right, so for the next one, we have let's see, let's see what we have inside the fairy look pouch before we even go to the book of the month. Of course, we have the monthly bookmark, which is a mini me of the monthly uh, art print. Next we have is, is the letter from the author. So I'll try and keep it like that so you can pause and read it through. And of course, I'm going to, we have at the other side of the letter of the author, we have the, We have the art print, which is inspired by the book itself, the book of the month. All right. So it really looks like something that is a retelling of Little Mermaid, perhaps. All right. Uh, so we also have the fairy scoop. All right, so, and then, now, let's heading on to the book of the month, which is Fable by Adrian Young. Don't you love that? Do and reds. And it has this glittery sprayed edges. And here we have my cat <laughs> wanting to get the box already from me. Sorry, Phil, we have to wait a little longer. All right, so let's check out the underside of the dust jacket doesn't have any prints. However, it does have this uh, foiled um, title and author's name for the cover of the book. And let's see what else do we have. And yes, it's also um, it's also signed by the author, as we can see here. And for the synopsis, let's see. Trader fighter survivor. As the daughter of the most powerful trader in the Narrows, the sea is the only home 17-year-old Fable has ever known. It's been four years since her father abandoned her on a legendary island filled with thieves and little food. To survive, she must keep to herself, learn to trust no one, and rely on the unique skills her mother taught her. The only thing that keeps her going is the goal of getting off the island, finding her father and demanding her rightful place beside him and his crew. To do so, Favel enlists the help of a young trader named Bless to get her off the island and across the narrows to her father. But Fable soon finds that Wes isn't who he seems. Together, they will have to survive more than the treacherous storms that haunts the Narrows if they're going to stay alive. Alright, so it looks like a retelling of Little Mermaid. But now, reading the synopsis, I'm quite doubtful of that. And not quite sure if it is. It sounds a little bit more like six of pros, something like that. Uh, joining a crew. Or maybe a little bit more on the side of Pirates of the Caribbean. 
like finding your father and wanting to join the crew all right so we will see what it's all about when we read it so so the next question that pops into my mind after reading that is is this a standalone or a series so to check it out we have the fairy scoop right here and let's see if the author gave if the author gave something like a hint if this is going to be a series and it and she actually gave more than that so it says here that there is going to be a sequel which is namesake so it's going to be entitled namesake and it also tells here that fable ends on such a cliffhanger so which is so which tells me that i wouldn't want to read this until i get namesake because i hate cliffhangers i hate like being over the edge and waiting on what's going to happen next and then i have to wait like a year before before i find that out and find a pretty good copy that is suitable partner for my fable so yeah so that is something that i'm going to do i'm going to wait for namesake before i read this but it sounds really intriguing i like um the little mermaid and i like the sea witch and i think i will like this story it just saddens me that i have to wait for namesake so i'm not sure if i'm going to wait for it or i'm going to read it because i'm really intrigued with what story this holds mm -hmm. so yeah so i'll definitely let you guys know if i do that all right so for the next month's theme is Oh my god, this is not the August box. This is the September box. Alright, so. So I'm so sorry, you guys. I cannot believe you went through that. And this is not the August box. This is actually the September one. Alright, so. So the next month's theme is Wicked Hearts. So it's an October box so this is going to be halloweenish very surely and it says here that the, the featured book of the month for october is a very highly anticipated release by a best-selling author and it and it will have witches demons romance and a deadly mystery and also it's very customized it will have a an exclusive cover, a stencil, and sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse dust jacket, foil design on the hardcover, printed signature, signed book plate, and even an exclusive bonus chapter. Alright, looks like there's a lot in store for our, for our October book. Alright, and the Fairy Loot September Photo Challenge is going on the october 16th to 19th so let's that's like today <laughs> and i'm so late so yeah so anyway let me know what you guys think about this um this whole september box unboxing and yeah thank you guys for watching let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one Bye! My cat would say bye, but he's really asleep right now. Bye, guys! <laughs>